Hello and welcome back to Boring Dad Gaming for what is going to be the final, uh, final episode of Potion Craft. I was going to say, I got caught between saying final and finale and it came out a bit weird, so sorry about that. <laughs> but anyway, it's day 64. We have one potion to go on our Philosopher's Stone recipe, which is kind of kind of the final boss uh, for Potion Craft at this point, if you like. I don't know if the update's going to add any sort of more late game stuff to it towards. I feel like this level 10 Alchemist Path stuff is just a bit... I mean, I've read that people who've done it say it's incredibly grindy, especially to get to this level 15. It's almost... Um, it's crazy. So they say, you know, you put more into hitting level 15 than you put into the entire game to this point. So that's, that's how far off it is. Um, so I, I'm going to create the Philosopher's Stone. That's my personal end game goal for, for the game. We only need to make one potion, so let's, let's have a couple of days in the shop first. It's minor guy, please, please sell the mineral that goes up. No, we have this though, what does this do? Feeble bismuth. I think someone asked for a potion containing this once, didn't they? Or was it this one? Plague Stib Knight, it was one of these. I'm sure I've seen Fable bismuth named somewhere. I mean, it, is, it does go very slightly up. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we could use that somewhere in those recipes. Um, but I'm going to buy him out of his stock because minerals are always useful. 25,000! Okay. What else, am I, what else am I spending it on, eh? Probably more ingredients. 15k? Go on then. Bro, it's done. So you're buying. I did. I'm going to fit as. Fit? I'm sure she means fight. I'm going to fight acid slimes. I need a potion that will keep my armor and weapon from dissolving. Well, we have melt away. For just such an occasion. I need to catch an evil sorcerer alive. First, I catch him. But I also need a potion that will stop him from doing magic. A thunder thistle. I'll pay extra if this is the main ingredient. It probably isn't, because I went through a phase of not having any thunder thistle, so I couldn't add it to anything. She only says she'll pay extra. It's not a, a required thing. So you can... Uh, let's actually haggle that. So I've just spent quite a lot of money on gems. I need a potion that will protect me against acid in battle. Only you should say that. Let's melt away. That. I need to follow somebody, but without them noticing me. Any ideas? Uh, you can have a where'd you go. There you go. Mushroom guy. Hello. What will it be today? I don't know, mushroom guy. I feel like I've probably... I've probably reached capacity now. I mean, I'll buy all your stuff just in case I come back to this save when they release the next load of updates. Which is going to have quite a major effect on the game. By the sound of it with... Growing your own ingredients in the garden, monster parts to put into potions, um, they're going to have a new base, um, loads of new customers and stuff I think, so yeah, it's going to be quite exciting. Off you pop. I have to get rid of some rodents, and I need poison. You can have the kiss of death. I need to attach a painting to the wall. Oh, I've got a sticky situation for you. Okay, strong potion, no more than three types of ingredients. Ah! Okay, this should be exactly what you want, mate. Uh, yeah, you can have it. I need a potion that will protect me against frost. Doesn't want grasping root. I don't use a lot of that. So yeah, I think he's okay. Someone asked me to enchant their armor to protect against electricity. Do you have a potion that can do that? I need it for the enchantment. Uh, shouldn't have more than three types of ingredients, and she wants a high quality. Ah. It's a required thing, isn't it? Uh, it's in the oil map. Where's electricity protection? 
I could probably do that. We'll use a lot of mushrooms, probably. All right, let's do it. Bing. Uh, leave that one there. This one we'll take down to say there. More of a there this time. a mushroom to finish up. Uh, yes, because if we take it around there, I can use the base to finalize. Okay. Do -do 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 -do. Oh, I forgot about the swamps. I forgot about the swamps. Oof. Okay, so what can mushroom still seems pretty good. We actually we can actually use a different type of ingredient. Because we've only used two so far. Okay, we can get it down to like there. Oh, I got swamped again. Damn it. Okay, let's do that. And we'll just. There's only two, so we can chuck in one of these and we'll line it up with the base. This one, Philo De Swift Dexter, uh, Dex Star. So let's start there. And then for this final potion, we need hang on, we need to add invisibility, flying, and shrink. So a little trickier this time. We need to go there, there, and hmm, isn't shrink on this side? Yeah, it's here. I may as well hit that first, and then can maybe sort of base to kind of get back to where we want. Alright, let's do that. the gemstones that take you uh, to the north. He's just, he's just not, maybe seems like they're too basic or something and he's only selling more advanced ones now. Which is a bit annoying because I need the basic one. There's no, apart from the miner, the Scottish dwarf miner, there's no other way of getting them. Not, you can't grow crystals in the garden. In fact, I wonder if that might be something they can include in the update, the ability to grow your own crystals as well, because that would be good. No, we're going to need one, but this will do the job. I'll leave it on the lower side there, just so... Uh, I mean, we're going to need to come down anyway, because the base not being in quite the right position. But we should be okay. Oh, actually, this will help, won't it? Let me just uh, give it a couple of pumps on that, and we'll add the base again. Do. So what have we got that goes to the west? We've got some of these, that's fine. So now we want uh, just these two. Uh, okay, let's actually head up around here. That seems like a pretty good plan. These I haven't used one of these for a while. Is she there? Yeah. Okay, let me use one of those. Just take a little bit there. What I want to do is just kind of add a wee bit of will pool. And we just got there. 
you should be quite good. Hopefully not destroying the potion. <sighs> Flew too close to the sun. Damn it, I was doing quite well on that one. Oh well. It was a good plan, but poorly executed. Citrine. All right, let's try that again. Be a bit less crap this time. This one looks alright, just turn around to say there. Again, it's a bit of a risk that one. That's pretty good though. I need to add one of these uh, effects, like a, a one power. Um, yeah, this looks pretty good. I could use salts, but salts are more valuable to me than the ingredients at the moment, just because I've got so many of them. I do one of these, though. Actually, thinking about it, if I really needed to, I could use uh, a different type of mineral and rotate to get the teleportation to teleport to the north. So that is possible. It's just. The ingredients I've already got in the book uh, for for those those minerals. It's um, a bit annoying, like we saw already in this episode of the last one, where I couldn't make the the potion I needed because it used one of the, I can't even remember what it was called, but the mineral moves to the north. Um, but this one's finished. We're going to call it Philo Swift Dex Shrink Invis. Why? Say, finished potion. And did that go there? Yeah, yeah, it's gone there. So this is it. I'm need you to go to bed. <laughs> what I'm gonna do? I'm just, I'm not gonna rush. I'm gonna have another day in the shop and the garden, um, and then we'll put it in and see, see where we, see where we are. Lots of garden stuff, which is nice. Loads, actually. We're the biggest bounty in the garden yet. Let's see what the shop does. I think my fingers are too short. Is there a way to make them longer? Yes, you can have an invigorator. A certain alchemist sold me a potion that made my stomach hurt and gave me the runs. Oh, is there anything you can do to make me feel better? Uh, yes, you can have some boo boo be gone. I need a potion that protects me from fire spells. Okay, I have a flame shield. I can do simple requests. 
I need to take down an old building. Do you have an exploding potion or something similar? Do I? Do you have a potion that will protect me from being poisoned? Once it's strong and no cracker mushroom, which is probably quite easy because I don't really use that ingredient. Uh, so, uh, yeah, once it's strong, which is fine. No fangs, doesn't use cracker. So there you go. Boom. Are we leveling up? Oh, we can. Let's, um... Let's finish this off for the sake of finishing off a tree. Oh, I've actually got more. Right, we'll do that. Herbs lady. I'll take some good berry. Terraria. Yep. Uh, Spore boom I use a lot of. So yeah, same with Bloodthorn. Don't use Dream Beat. I'll take some of those. That'll do you. 7,000. I need to enlarge a certain part of my body. <laughs> Do you have anything I can rub on it? Oh dear. Yeah, have an Imbiginator. I need a potion that can break the thick shell of a monster. Hmm. Three types of ingredient. A potion that can break the thick shell of a monster. Maybe explosion? I'm going in the woods to track game. I can use a potion to help me hunt better. Um, well, I'm not going to do a weak version, but you can have some of that. I accidentally jammed my finger and it still hurts. Maybe you can help. Ice fruit. Uh, okay. It's not ideal. Which one's at least one, so I guess if we take it down... Relaxation potions, if you know what I mean. I do. How about have a nice trip? Blump. There you go. Love. Hmm. Okay. Another day in the shop. Let's go to bed. I think this might be the day we make our philosopher's stone. Garden today. Aha, hello. Hello, alchemist. How are you doing? Do you need anything? I'm going to buy the recipe. Not to necessarily make in this series, but like I said, if I ever come back to it at some point after an update, maybe I'll do something like try and finish off the path. Can I do that? Yeah, I can't afford that even with haggling. That'll do. Alchemist, I need a mana potion. And you can have one. Get your magic back. I've got 222 of these I can make. I'm Finichi! Well, you know, down there, know what I mean? Do you have anything to relieve it? Eh? You got some grease. <laughs> I don't think that's what she wants, though. I think she probably just wants Boo Boo begun. Go on then. Alchemist, do you have enough something that can help me. hmm. relax? Okay, I'm not make. it's a hard one to hit this one, so obviously it's got loads of ingredients, so I'm not gonna make it with two types of ingredients. That's literally insane, you can have that. Oh, I've got a bad case of the runs. <sighs> Nothing that can treat it. Yeah, I suppose. Mushroom guy. Hello! I brought you some amazing mushrooms today. Have a look. I will. Here's the thing, mushroom guy. I've got 
so many. Let's actually sort it by mushrooms. So anything I don't have much of, because I've got loads of all of these. Loads of these. I would buy more of these, but you don't have any tangleweed. Ah, lust mushroom. Maybe I'll buy some of those. All right, I'll buy your lust mushrooms. You don't, definitely don't have any tangleweed. Okay. There we go. Do you have a potion that, well, enhances desire? Do I? Have some get up and go. I need to enchant an object with the power of fire, so I require a potion that has such power. The burninator will meet all your needs, I'm sure. My last experiment made my whole laboratory smell awful. I need a potion that can get rid of the stench, or at least make it less bad. Yes, well, you can have a smells good. Now, what's here that's restricting us? It could be our moon salts, thinking about it. Yeah, that would make sense. Okay. In enchantments on my staff have almost run out. I need a potion that can restore their power. Get your magic back. I have to fight an evil sorcerer. I need a potion that will protect me against my enemy's magic. I'll pay extra for a potion made from one type of ingredient. Well, you're not going to get that, because anti-magic is quite tough to hit. So you're going to get that, and you're going to like it. Do you sell any potions that help with intimate affairs? I could use one. They're quite popular, these, aren't they? Alright, we can have another get up and go. That's it for the day. Can't upgrade anymore. This is it. This is the big one. Just check. Everything's green ticks. I've never done this before. Magnum Opus. It was indeed. I mean, it's taken 66 days to reach this point. Kachunk. goes. You have created the Philosopher's Stone. Finish. Now what do I do with it? <laughs> Magnum Opus and Reagent for Creating Philosopher's Salt. Can I just pop it there just like hold it up like this? Oh. go. My end game goal. And there we go. It's kind of a short episode though, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to do another day in the shop before we call it a day on this series. Just uh, one more for old time's sake, you know. A very slow day in the garden. I want to buy some kind of combat potion that I can throw at enemies from a distance. Oh, boomier juice tends to do the job. I think I've been cursed. Everything seems to be going wrong. I can't do anything right, and I feel awful, even though I know I'm not sick. Oh, do you have a potion that can lift curses? Uh, okay, crystal. Okay. Um, I don't have any cloud crystal. That's the one I can't buy. It should say cure curses, so she wants luck potion, doesn't she? Um, yeah, I don't have a look at like that. There you go. Haggle it as well. Very nice. Not enough sleep and too many late nights working has me looking much older than I actually am. I'm actually only seven years old. Do you have another potion that will help me look better? I'm not doing any bonus effects for you, mate, but you can have a rejuvenation. A wrinkle away. There you go. I need some perfume. Do you have any? X one type of ingredient. Send you away with a flea in your ear. There you go. You can have that though. 
Mushroom guy. Well, hello. Guess what I have in my basket. That's right, mushrooms. Um. Tell you what, I can't send you away without buying anything. We'll buy all your mushrooms because I use a lot of those. Mushrooms as well, and water caps. I use a lot of this stuff. I don't know why, but food seems to spoil incredibly fast in my house. Do you have a potion that helps food stay fresh longer? I think the frosty helps this, doesn't it? Like a refrigerator. Alchemist, could you make me a vial of perfume? I can. I can't make many more, though, so hopefully there's not going to get too many more of these requests. I need a dangerous potion that I can use to coat my weapon. Uh, how about fire this time? I want to protect my crops from evil sorcery. There are these witches nearby that won't let us honest workers live in peace. They wither everything we grow with our backbreaking labour. Alright. No mana, no cry. How about that? Oh, and that's it. I'm going to do another day. Another day in the shop. It's a very hard game to put down. <laughs> all day. Do you have anything for that? I do. I hope it's not just going to be all po health potions today on my last day in the shop. I'm trying to decide where to invest my money, but I can't make up my mind. Do you have a potion that will help me make a decision? I wonder if inspiration would do for this. Magic Muse. Maybe. Ah, there we go. I need a potion that makes me stronger, faster, and more agile. Oh. I wonder if I've got anything saved that would do that. Probably do. I could always start from here. And, um, just add a little bit of strength to it. Some void salt on this actually. further on this one because uh, it'll take me to a less favourable position. Right, yes, let's continue down. Uh, maybe down here. Hmm. That's a bit better. Hmm. I don't like that now. Oh, we'll just use base, shall we? Oh, we need to add strength, don't we? That's due straight down from here, isn't it? So that's fine. Uh, a couple of mushrooms should do it. use that whirlpool, couldn't I? Let's do that first. And this gets us... We only need... Uh, well, a one, I suppose. So that's fine. There we go. Hopefully you won't mind the invisibility being in there. No, you're fine. I would like a potion that increases libido. Do you have one? matter of fact, I do. There you go. No, I need something I can coat my weapon with that deals additional damage. How about the stench? I haven't sold one of those for a while. Or more likely... What's this? Wizmix. 
That's the same as... That's just three speed, isn't it? I wonder why I've got that and Cheetah Blend here. Oh well. <laughs> Never mind. I think I'm realising this fairly late on in the process. Well, let's... Um, uh, lightning. Hello again, how are things? I brought you some fresh ingredients. I'm sure something will catch your eye. Sure it will. Um, never say no to these. Terraria is always good. Uh, oh, tangleweed. I thought that was a mushroom, but it's not. I was in with my mushrooms when I sorted by type. It's a lot of money. Boom blooms, though. We like those. Boom, boom, boom. Everybody say way or way or that. I need to enchant my clothes so they make me invisible, but to do this, I'll need a potion with a similar effect. You can have some where'd you go, and don't worry about the bonus effects. I fought with my family recently, and now we're not on speaking terms. I need a potion that will help us reconcile. Well, I expect maybe charm would do the trick here. Yes, there you go. I need a potion that can protect me from a frost-breathing dragon. Okay, nice and simple. There you go. I've heard that weevils are capable of eating through all our hops. I need to treat them with something poisonous. Goblin shroom. I want this to be the main ingredient of the potion. I don't think I use any goblin shroom here, do I? What about on this recipe? No. Fine. I mean, it's only going to take one probably to get there, but all right. No, it'll take a couple. Okay. Well, let's just use a bunch. He says he wants to be the main ingredient, so let's just do that. I'm just going to probably raise it up with the base a bit, just in case I accidentally kill the potion. And yep. Put some more in. Uh, he said main ingredient, maybe two is enough. If I could pop in one of these. There we go. Finish option. There, there you go. Perfect. This creaky door is driving me crazy. It creaks so loud that it wakes everyone in the house up. I need something to oil it with. Well. How about some grease? It's grease! <laughs> oh, and there they go. That was probably my last customer, and she bought grease. Well, here we go. So, yeah, I'll take a I did buy the life salt, didn't I? So, let's. We can go and have a look at what that's required for that, but I won't be making it. But we can have a look at this at least. Oh, you can move these around too. Um, yeah, it's. I mean, they're not as hard, these ones, actually. I would have to go down to make Rubido again, though. I mean, not, not as bad as it could be, seeing as I've saved all the recipes for it. But I don't really see the point of Life Salt, because, I mean, there, there are a couple of times I've accidentally killed the potion. I guess it would have helped, but... Um, it's probably less of a drag just to start the potion again, honestly. Two pound points didn't get around to spending. Well, that's okay. Did our main objective, and that was to make our lovely flower. I wish I could like put it on my desk or something. Let's have it. Have it on our bed. You have it. Have it there. Boom. Pillow. Ah, yes. There we go. That's it. This is the end of Potion Craft. So thanks very much for watching my series, and I hope you've enjoyed it. I've enjoyed playing it. Um, I think 22 episodes in now, so it's probably around 20 hours into the game, something like that. I've probably reached a point where I think I'm largely done with it at this point. Um, I certainly don't feel like I want to carry on just grinding my way to level 15 popularity here and uh, all the other stuff you've got to do. I'm, I'm, I feel like I've, I've, I've seen... 
everything the game has to offer and I've really enjoyed it and I, I hope you have too. If you have then please do hit the thumbs up button on the video, subscribe to the channel if you've not done so previously for more games along this, these sort of lines, play a lot of indie games, um, a lot of sort of narrative type games where I read out and do the voices and stuff so you know check, check other series out there might be something on the channel that you like uh, as much as this hopefully. Um, but yeah, we'll leave it there. I mean, just a, a final summation, I suppose, just to say I do, I do recommend this game. It's, I think it only costs about about eleven pounds. I think it's about what fifteen dollars, something like that. It's um, it's fun. I mean, you definitely get a good twenty hours of, uh, of entertainment out of it, I would say. And as I've mentioned a few times in past episodes, they're releasing some fairly big updates in the near future. So um, yeah, they're going to be adding a gar customizable garden. Uh, monster reagents, a new base, so there'll be a whole new map to explore, maybe with different additional effects, I'm not sure. Um, and all sorts of other stuff. Worth checking out the Steam store page anyway, because it's uh, it goes into great detail about what they're going to be adding to the game in hopefully the fairly near future. So thanks for, one last time, thanks very much for joining me uh, for this game, and I uh, hope to see you elsewhere on the channel. Bye for now. <laughs>